Yo, what's good everybody? Um, I know y'all don't see me make videos about Final Fantasy XIV very often, but um, me and my sister have been playing and she's kind of new to the whole MMO experience. And she also noticed how like there aren't too many guys on like the like level 50 classes rotations. And I'm sure because half of it's because they change everything every time they drop a freaking expansion. And the other thing is, I don't know. It's just not any game. Plus, you don't really stay level 50 too long, man. Like, I don't know. But anyways, I just figured I'd, like, do something. I'm sure, like, this would probably help a lot of people. Um, I don't plan on doing more of these. Um, if this does well, maybe I will. Um, but I don't really expect it to. Um, again, I'm pretty much just doing this to help her out and anybody else who might need help. Um, I'm just going to try to be, go very, try to keep it quick and simple um so you guys know the basis of the class um anyone who's starting out in final fantasy 14 i'd probably recommend either monk or bard i guess if you're looking for a dps class paladin if you are a looking at the tank and i guess it's white mage if you're going into healer um i haven't played a white mage ever I, and i probably never will play a healer class but um just saying that just you know if it, again I'm sure the free trial is bringing a lot of people in and I do think Final Fantasy 14 is one of the better MMOs out so definitely give this a shot if y'all interested um and yeah I hope this helps people I'll be I'm gonna be going over not only just a quick rotation on like bar just to keep, keep uh, help you get through um, you know level 50 content but I also like go over things like, um, like my sister didn't know what a dot was, um, or in the AOE and things like that. People who generally don't really play MMOs like that, um, or RPGs or whatever. Um, Final Fantasy XIV is a cool world, and I figured the more people we can kind of help getting um, play this game, and people who are interested and don't be afraid. Um, I figured it'd be cool if we can try to get more and more people in this. I don't really play this game like that anymore. I know. <laughs> but again, I do um, think people should definitely check it out. Um, so yeah, let's let's get it going. All right, so here I'm just gonna cover the bard moves real quick. Um, generally, when people start Final Fantasy XIV, I recommend the bard class if you're looking for DPS. Um, it's just an easy class. You don't have to worry about your position as much, in my opinion. Um, you don't have to move around as much, so you can kind of focus on getting your damage out. Um, unlike, you know, Monk, especially in Raids and stuff. Um, also, this class used to have better AoEs. I don't think they do anymore compared to the other melee classes. Um, I think they kind of changed that, but um, I still kind of would probably recommend it just because it's just easier in raids. Again, you don't have to move around as much. Um, here, here's a number one tip too when it comes to playing a DPS class. Um, survival is more important than your damage. Um, dying isn't, you're not gonna get any damage when you die. I don't care if you have all your buffs pop. If you can get the freak out of the way and don't get hurt, uh, do it over your damage. You're gonna lose more damage dying than you are just because your buffs are popped or something like that. Um, and again, that's why I kind of think Bard is an easier class because you're generally not in that position as much as like Monk would be or a, any close range class would be, you know? So, but that's just my number one tip for people again getting to the game. Um, let's go over the moves real quick. I'm gonna be kind of fast about this and then I'm gonna show you guys like some rotations and whatnot. Um, first move is heavy shot. Heavy shot, you're pretty much just gonna use to get your straight shot. Heavy shot, every time you usually have a 20% chance of becoming straight shot. Straight shot is probably your strongest hitting single target move that Bard has at level 50. I don't know if that changes. Um, you're gonna wanna pop this every time it's ready. Um, it shares a your weapon skill cooldown, so you're not gonna be able to spam it or anything. But again, as soon as it pops up, you'll see it like glowing or whatever. Use that immediately when you can. Raging Strikes is just a damage buff. Uh, damage buff is if you don't know what a buff is, it's literally just something that kind of like powers you up. 
Um, this one in particular increases your damage by 15% and it lasts for 20 seconds. You generally want to use this before you pop like uh, your cooldown moves or moves that increase your damage. Like I'll show, uh, I'll try to show you guys like little combos um, as I get uh, as I start showing you guys the rotations. Venomous Bite is your first dot. A dot is damage over time. Um, dots may seem like they don't do a lot of damage at first, but they are probably the majority of not most of your damage. Wait, that means the same thing. I l probably a good part of your damage, if not most of it. Um, you generally want to set these off ASAP, like as soon as a fight starts. Um, the longer the dot is on an enemy, the more damage it does. So yeah, usually you want to immediately pop this off. Blood Letter is a cooldown move, so it doesn't share your weapon cooldown. Um, so you generally want to pop this as soon as you can. Like, um, it only has a 15 second cooldown. You can hold two charges. So again, you usually want to pop this as soon as you can. Repelling Shot is a move that you kind of do like this cool backflip. Um, it's kind of like a repositioning move. I don't think... I won't be mad, like I personally wouldn't be mad if you didn't have this on your loadout or whatever. Um, I recommend it just because not only does it look cool, it's pretty useful in getting out of the way sometimes while doing damage. Um, again, I don't think, I don't know if this will like, this is a, definitely a situational move, it's not something you're going to use a lot or all the time. Um, and I'll show you guys what it does if you haven't seen it. But it's a pretty cool move, again, I, I don't think it's a necessity. Quick Knock is your AOE. This is another move you're probably gonna spend more than even Heavy Shot. Um, generally, AOE means area of effect. Um, it's a move that hits two targets or more. Um, like they say, it's, it's in a cone before you. And so generally, like any everything in front of you will get hit. Um, you Again, you're gonna spam this probably more than Heavy Shot. Any, Two or more enemies, you, that's when you're going to use this. Anytime there's two or more enemies. Um, next is Wind Bite, which is your another another dot damage over time move. Again, you're going to want to pop this and you Venomous Bite pretty much as soon as you can. Those are two dots. They, uh, they do damage over time for, I think, 45 seconds each. And... They just, again, majority, if not a big part of your damage. Barrage is kind of a, in my opinion, a two-part move. It gives, it is, it triples the number of strikes for a single target of any weapon skill, and it also grants straight shot. So, you can use this with heavy shot, though I wouldn't recommend it. You immediately get straight shot right away. I don't even know, I probably shouldn't even told you you could do it. Literally, you pop this, you use straight shot. You don't do anything else. It triples the damage of straight shot. Straight shot is your heavy, heaviest hitting single target move. Pop that in. It might actually work. I guess every once in a while, you might want to pop it with quick knock. But I still would probably just go for triple shot. It just does too much damage. Mage's Ballad um, is a AOE buff for you and your party members. Increasing damage by 1%, but the best thing this move does is grant repertoire. I, I don't know if I said that right, but it pretty much reduces the cast time of Blood Letter and Reign of Death. So we'll get to Reign of Death when I get to it, but Blood Letter, it literally lets you kind of like spam those moves over and over again. Warden's Peon, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Peon, Peon, whatever, is a, um, it's a, um, it's a buff that gets rid of, um, I don't know the, the word is, ugh, I don't know if the correct word is buff, but it's pretty much a, a move that gets rid of debuffs. It's kind of like a, uh, what's the word? I can't think of the word right now. I was going to use a Final Fantasy reference, but I'm, a, I'm not that big of a nerd, I guess. Um, pretty much protects you from any debuffs. So if you got poison or slow, um, it either gets rid of it or it protects you from getting one. Um, I don't think you will pop this is I feel like it's another situational move and 
you probably won't use it very often and it's probably only really useful in like raids and stuff and I think it'll help a lot, but you know, most of the time, even if you do, people probably won't even notice. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But some people, the people use it on like the tanks, my or healers, my. But um, other than that, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think this is a necessity, but I think it's gonna be very useful. Um, here's another tip too for DPS users. Almost everything has a use. It might be very situational use, but try to at least figure out when the situation is you want to use a lot of these moves. Um, a lot of that stuff is going to come with time. Um, I could try and show you guys, but again, a lot of the stuff is going to come with time. And again, sometimes some of the stuff is just more useful, like for single player content or whatever. But this, I think, is really uh, very useful for like raids and stuff. Armage Pound is another AoE buff. Um, it doesn't share a timer with Mage's Ballad, so you kind of use this um, after or before this cooldown is over. Um, this reduces weapon cat weapon skill cast time, so you attack faster. Um, your mages use their spells faster. Everything's just faster. Plus, it increases the direct hit rate. So you hit a little bit harder and you attack a lot faster. It's a pretty good move. Um, people tend to combine this with battle voice, and we'll get to that soon. Um, now it's Reign of Death. Reign of Death is pretty much your the AOE version. Of blood letter, um, blood letter. Oh, right of death is pretty much you want to use this when you're in a situation when you're fighting two or more enemies. Um, so usually you'll combo quick knock to rain of death, quick knock, rain of death, um, as often as rain of death is up. And again, I'm gonna try to show you guys those combos, um, when I get to that part. Battle voice increases direct hit rate of cells and all nearby party members by 20%. Um, I think a lot of people combine this with Army's Payon for a uh, huge damage. Um, for that time, for those 15 seconds, I'm pretty sure you, you everybody hits very hard. And you'll notice it very, you'll notice it pretty considerably when you're, you know, shooting stuff. Uh, we'll go into the roll abilities too a little bit. These are even more situational. Leg graze afflicts target with heavy. This is pretty much a slow thing down. If something's chasing you, pop it um, or something. That's pretty much the best time to use it. I don't think it's really going to work on much else. Um, very, situational, very situational ability. I wouldn't worry about this too much. It probably doesn't hurt. It, none of these hurt to have on your bar, but I part, again, I probably wouldn't worry about it too much. Second one is a heal. Um... Another one, I probably wouldn't worry about this too much. I'm sure it's a good help, especially when leveling up and doing solo stuff. Um, and it might help a little bit in certain situations in dungeon raid, but it's nothing I wouldn't really worry about too much either. Like, I don't think, this is not gonna be life or death usually. This binds a target. Um, it makes them like stay still. Uh, again, super situational. Probably not gonna use it much. Probably doesn't work on a lot of enemies. Um, doesn't hurt to have, again, super situational. Definitely like use these moves when you get comfortable with your rotations and use these, try to figure out what you can do to what. Like, but again, super situational, so I'm not gonna like talk about them too much. Um, this is Pella, I don't know how to say that, Peloton. This increases movement speed. You'll see a lot of people use this in between fights just to help get through dungeons and raids faster um this is nice again i don't think people are, will be mad if you don't use this but um it is nice to have uh head graze interrupts the target use of action i think it stops magic too i think it, like it inflicts silence i believe um again another thing that's cool to use but it's not a big deal if you don't honestly it creates a bar barrier nullify most not back and draw back if you can time this with certain moves, it kind of helps you without like, like the positioning, like so you don't have to move as much or get knocked away. But this is something too, like you're not really gonna miss out if you don't have this on your bar. Like it's not that big of a deal. Always look at the traits, but these are just passive abilities, you know? But they're cool to see. Um, all right, we will go into rotations. 
Okay, so we're gonna go into rotations now. Um, again, I'm gonna try to like. I think I'm gonna. I will see how it works out. If it looks stupid, I probably won't do it. But I'm gonna try to like, um, put the images of my moves that I use on the screen. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna start using this dummy. Um. All right, so this is probably how I would start a single, like a boss fight, you know. Um, Radiant strikes. I probably pop barrage, triple strike. I have a straight shot, and then I pop. Oh, you know what? I fucked up already. We're gonna restart this. We're gonna restart it. All right, we're gonna try this again. We gonna get we gonna get y'all that rotation. Boss fight. All your cooldowns up. We gonna hit off with the burst. Raging strike. Bands bite. Wind bite. Blood letter. Major's ballot. Barrage. Blood letter. Heavy shot. Blood letter. Heavy shot. Every shot. Just pretty much spam every shot till you get straight shot. That's pretty much the rotation. That's a simple rotation. You do pretty good damage. Use a lot of your buffs. And after Mage's Ballad is up. Keep an eye on your dots. Venomous bite down. Bam, pop that up. Pop on the neck. That one's down. Pop uh, wind bite again. And then, so Major's Bell is done, so I'll pop an armor. And then I'll pop Battle Voice. Which is, might be better to use that first. But again, no one's gonna go like trip. No one's gonna even notice if you like switch it up. And again, like. Make sure you survive. That's way more important than freaking damage most of the time. Make sure you try to use your cooldowns to to frame cancel your moves. But yeah, I try to throw like a little rotation up. Well, honestly, man, uh, like honestly, this is what you're like. I did like. Most of the time, this is what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be making sure wind bite and venomous bites up, and you're gonna spam a heavy shot. And when heavy shot pop street shot, you're gonna pop that. And in between that, you're just gonna be using all your cooldown for additional damage. Again, always keep an eye on your dot meter. Triple shot back up, or barrage back up. Keep that triple shot in there. Barrage up. Pop your ballad. Just keep it going. No one's gonna notice if you miss some moves. Sometimes you're gonna miss out on your your buffs because you're dodging stuff. That's gonna happen. Don't trip. Just keep it up. Get just remember to be do just remember to keep your dots up and keep going for straight shots and pop your sword in. I don't know if that helped you. I'm gonna try again. I'll try to put like a little like thing on the on the um, screen that kind of help y'all like with your initial rotation. But pretty like just it's not that hard. Just keep it simple and like just get used to it. Uh, organize your bar however it needs to where it feels natural for you. Um, again, I feel like the most important thing is to keep your dots up. Use your cooldowns and just keep the damage consistent as consistent as you can. But again, you gotta survive to do that. All right, we're gonna do a quick, um, like an AOE rotation, and I'll just show you guys that for again, real quick. Pretty much AOE rotation. You're gonna be spamming quick knock. 
and you only hear Maze's Ballad is probably a, a better song to use in this situation just because you'll be able to make it land more often. But that's pretty much all you're gonna do. Real hard to And this is honestly probably, you're probably gonna use this short rotation more than anything else. And then I'd probably still recommend you pop, um, you pop, uh, Venomous Bite and Wind Bite before you fight, start your AOE rotation. But that's pretty much, it's pretty easy to put rotation, you do a lot of damage. Um, I used to think Bard had better AOE than the other, like, melee classes, I don't know if they do now, but, easy stuff. That this is what you're gonna, again, this is what you're gonna spam in most fights. Because you're usually fighting, always fighting more than one enemy. When your boss fights come, that's when you start using your single target to wipe the attack. And again, always keep those dots on. Dots are definitely more important in the boss fight. Alright, I'm just gonna show you how these moves that are situational that you probably won't use much i'm just gonna show you what they did all right so which one is which i think this one is of okay, their leg raise now it's slow it can't keep up with you like good if you needed to get away or something good move to use um again situational you're not gonna use them much uh, second win with the heal. It's an alright heal. Pretty good to use. Um, head graze. Has no effect, so I can't show y'all. Foot graze. He can't move. Another good way to get away. Move these to get away. Um, arms wings. I don't think I have anything to show you guys. Arm wings. This just pretty much makes it so. Moves usually more hit me. What is it? Let me see. Let me see something. Did he realize me? He paralyzed himself. No, he realized me. But I think Warden's gonna be able to like. Ooh, see? Alright, I'm gonna kill this thing before he kills me. Right? Don't kill me, bro. I'm not on camera. My little back shot. I think almost killed me. Y'all y'all let it happen. Anyways. Uh that's pretty much it, man. I mean it's really not. Head grizz. What does that do again? I don't even know. Interrupts with Jesus or like it's like if so I should have used it when he was doing that little eye thing. Let me see if I can use it on this one. I think they have a casting room. I don't know if it worked or not. I think it did. It ain't good. Fine. Good. I mean, it's not. Mine is really not gonna stay. It's useful sometimes, but I don't know. I don't really need it. I don't, I don't feel like most people do. It looks cool though. There's definitely situations. Find a better bar. They'll probably tell you to use for it. I'm trash. <laughs> Anyways. Yo, if there's anything you can add to this video, um, I'm not even recording, bro. <laughs> long? Not long. No, I am recording. I'm tripping. It just didn't look like I was recording. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, man. Um. Shit. Fucking. Yo, this help? Cool. If you got anything to add on, even better. Let's go check out what that thing is because it looks cool from here. What is going on? 
What is he riding on, bro? That's lit. What the freak? That's lit. Anyways, yeah, if there's anything cool y'all you know, wanted to add or to help new people out. Or if this video is trash, let me know. Or if you want me to try to make another one that's even quicker or more simple, I can try. Um, if you have any questions, definitely hit me up. Um, if you, I'm on a FanFrit server, so if you need help on FanFrit, uh, feel free to hit me up. I guess on here too, we can add or join the Discord and hit me up. Um, I'm down with helping people. That's all I kind of been doing on this game lately. Anyways, um, <laughs> I don't have to do expansion out yet or anything, but I'm, I'm definitely down to help with any content up until level 80. Um, but yeah, um, y'all be safe. I'm out again. I hope this really helped you guys. If not, well, maybe somebody else can. <laughs> we are the bitch. Peace.